Um, Luke, big congrats. Um, what does it mean to you to be rising star nominee? I'm pretty excited with it, but also excited with the team's performance on the weekend and lucky enough we got the win, so yeah, pretty happy. When you take a different path, I suppose, to the other draftees, does it feel any different coming to the club and, and starting off? Did, did, did you feel a difference between you and the other three that you came with? Uh, no, not really. It's all We're all learning and um, we're all first year, so I don't know as much as they do, but I think I had a little bit more experience with um, playing VFL that extra year, but um, we're all learning equally as fast and yeah, we're all on the improvement. I'm sure when you're playing VFL, you, you probably watched AFL and thought, I can compete at that level, but I suppose until you come here, have you been pleased with how well you have adapted? Um, yeah, I'd say so. It was a slow road, but um, yeah, pretty pleased with the way I was going. And um, us first years really had a top on, and we all pushed each other equally as hard, and um, that really helped me, myself, training and um, doing it for the other boys. So, yeah. Look, pretty impressive start to your career. What sort of you think your main attributes? Why you've been able to cont uh, continue to stay in the side? Um, sort of just a bit of um, marking, I'd say, and um, that really comes. Um, from the back six we got down there and really giving me that confidence to go um, take the game on and um, credit to those boys. You look like you read the play pretty well, is that one of your attributes as well you think? Uh, yeah I'd say so but again it comes back to the boys down the back with their experience, um, Michael Johnson and Joel Hamling with um, positioning me and um, telling me when to go and when not to. Only a short time in the AFL but what have you sort of learned the differences from the VFL to the AFL so far? Um, it's just hard work every day, every minute, got to watch what you eat and all that sort of stuff and just full commitment so that's probably the hardest thing. And um, what's the message from Ross been like sort of since you've come in and, and now obviously cementing a bit of a spot in that side? Um, just keep working hard and keep working on the things you got to work on and um, just improving every week and learning. Obviously a few weeks ago, a bit of a setback yourself from Brennan with the, the drinking after the six day break, but what was the message from Ross and the, and the coaches then? Obviously I imagine they were probably dis disappointed the way you let the teammates down. Yeah, exactly. We breached um, team rules and um, we put that behind us and learned from it and um, yeah, we've Put it behind us and hopefully learn from that and never happen again. And um, yeah, just put it behind us. Since so, so just a couple of drinks out and no one's really ever cleared up the story. Was it just a couple of drinks? Yeah, it's enough with family. Yeah, just with family. That's it. So a couple yeah. of drinks down. That's it. Uh, from an outsider's point of view, that seems a little bit silly. But can you explain the rules that you've learnt and, and what the rules are for the team? Yeah, the team standards is just don't drink on six day breaks and I've learnt from that and moved on. Yeah. Has that sort of provided with any extra motivation? Because since coming back that GWS game and then on the weekend as well, they've easily been your best two games of the season. Um, no, I just, it's again, and just improving each week and learning and um, thought I did to other boys and um, hopefully keep doing that for the rest of the year. Who's been? Okay, record in intercept marks. Did you hear that? I think you had eight intercept marks and the record's nine or nine. And yeah, I didn't know there was a record or anything like that. I don't worry about inter individual success and just happy enough for the boys win. What's been or who's been the biggest influence so far on, on you and your career at 3A? Oh, there's a few. There's heaps to name. Probably Lee Spur, Tommy Sheridan, Joel Hamling and Michael Johnson are the biggest ones. And what have they been able to do for you? What's so, so impressive about them? Just their experience and um, telling me what to do and just everything like that. Just what they do after games and all that sort of stuff. And just, yeah, just the ultimate professionals and really helps me a lot. Um, Sydney Swans this weekend, a pretty tough challenge given their form in the recent couple of months. Is there anyone that you look like you're potentially going to or would like to play on? Uh, no, I don't know anything yet at the moment. Just um, we're still doing the meetings now from last week and get into Sydney in the next couple of days and find out more then. Luke, you spoke about the bond among the group that came together in last year's draft. You've all played and often in the same team, the four of you, and obviously hopefully Sean Darcy comes back next week. How much does that help when you're all out there playing together already at this early stage? Um, yeah, it helps a bit, but I think we're a young side, so we're all pretty young. doesn't worry about first years. We've had seven debutants this year and we're all a young group and um, the leaders are really helping us Jail together as well. Um, Fife has been a real massive influence on us, and um, no, it's all pretty good seeing us for four years playing together. I think it's been about 18 months since the club last had a rising star. Do you sort of maybe rub it into Sean and Ryan, who were pretty stiff to miss out earlier this year? Uh, no, nah, I won't rub it in. It's just just a rising star nomination, and we're more worried about team success and um, taking it step by step. Is it nice to get some recognition from Over East, given? The, the performances of the young players like Sean and Ryan as well so far this year as well as yourself? Yeah, it's good for um, West Australia, but as again, you've got to put a couple of good games together in a row and Sean has done that and he's yeah, been unlucky, but as same as Sean and same as every other player, we're just worried about team success. How have you found the move? Are you happy over here or are you missing home a bit? No, I'm fond of it well over here. Um, Tommy Sheridan live with him, so it's been pretty well. He's from Melbourne and um, being mature age, it's, yeah, it's a bit easier. 
think about the club? Because they don't seem to lose a lot of players wanting to go home over the years. They seem to have been able to keep players like yourself who come across. Um, yeah, it's just we've got a good bond and um, we're a young side and we're on the improvement and um, just about learning and um, everyone's real tight tight group here and um, yeah, it makes you want to say it feels like home. So. And when the group is so young, do you come in and sort of feel like you have quite a bit of responsibility early on? Like you don't feel like you're um, you know, playing a smaller part in the team given there's so many young guys out there? No, not really. It's leaders are doing the right job and just, yeah, we're just doing what they we're asked to do and playing our role and yeah, improving each week.